on the campaign trail. ANC President Jacob Zuma has taken time out to visit the people of El Dorado Park in Johannesburg. Crime levels, drug abuse and gang violence are rife in this area. Three years ago, a mother implored the president to visit the area to see for himself the impact drug-related crime was having. Darlene James told of her struggles trying to get her 17-year-old off crystal meth, a drug known locally as tick. After the Zuma's intervention, anti-substance abuse organizations were established in the area. Young people who are part of it, who are saying they are now clean, people who are conscious, who themselves are saying we have been drugs, uh, drug addicts, but now <clears throat> we are better, we are fighting, we are influencing others. I'm glad that he's, that he's kept to his commitment, but I think also as citizens we need to keep government accountable and if we back off, people will back off, people won't understand what we're going through in the community. So it's about keeping government accountable for the promises that they made. Jameson's son is now in a rehabilitation center. Other residents were ecstatic to have the president visit their community. We are so happy, especially for our children, to know our president. To know our president. Because when we talk about our president, our children doesn't know. I, I'm here for you, Zuma. I'm happy for you. And I love you too, Zuma. We are very happy. He's a ground, on, uh, on the ground, speaking to the people, touching with the people. And so far, uh, the people sound happy. And uh, we do have challenges, but uh, we are very happy. The ANC leader says he's aware of this community's challenges. Unemployment is one of the issues that uh, is critical. <clears throat> um, but all of them, very hopeful. Uh, even for the fact that we have paid a visit, that the fact that we are able to get into their houses, they feel we are part of them uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a good way. Zuma has implored residents to ensure that their voices are heard by casting their ballots in the August elections. You listen to Jamela CCTV, Johannesburg.